What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the Ridge Disc Golf Course. About to play... What are you doing? I'm just this shooting. This is my channel. Oh. What's up everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. As you can see, I've got Josh Basinger here with me. I mean, Josh Delp. And I he got decided Josh to Delp wear here. the same I mean... color of clothing as me today. Yeah. Equipped with the gray hat as well. Uh, we're doing a new series here on the channel. It's a brand new series. Josh is gonna be the first person on it. Uh, first of all, make sure you go subscribe to him if you haven't already. Um, I, so as you know, I'm on Team RPM and this new series is gonna be called Discovering RPM Discs. So basically what I'm gonna do, we're both mic'd up. Josh is gonna throw nothing but RPM Discs, which he has not thrown a whole lot of, and so he's gonna be discovering RPM discs today on the course. And um, we're gonna probably be nine holes. We'll see if the mics will last 18. That's to be determined. So at least nine holes here at his new course, the Ridge. Do you wanna talk about the Ridge for a minute? Uh, yeah, I can tell you. It's a 18 hole course right here in the heart of Southwest Virginia, actual Southwest Virginia. <laughs> I always bad. got a bone to pick there. But no, this is a completely wooded course. Once you go into the woods, you don't leave them till you're done. So, I mean, this is what you're gonna see for 18 holes or nine, depending on this video. But pretty technical and uh, working on some other layouts to make it even harder, so. Sweet. Come see it, let me know. Sweet, so, like I said, I, am, I don't think I actually mentioned, but I'm gonna be caddying for Josh. He's gonna tell me what he would have normally thrown on this hole. And I'm gonna pick out of my bag, and he's got a few RPMs here that's, he's starting with a few in his bag, and we're gonna uh, try and pick something similar to what he would throw on each hole. So let's start off on hole one. Thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. <laughs> All right, so what would you normally throw on hole one here? So, I generally hear him throwing a forehand, like yarn or zone. My bad. <laughs> and I always tell people that I'm doing that because it's hole one. If this was hole one, if this was like hole nine or ten, <laughs> if this was like hole nine or ten, I might throw a backhand. But where it's so early in a round, I usually trust hitting a gap with a forehand better. Okay. So. It just depends. If this was like a flex start hole or, some, or tournament and I was starting on hole nine, I might throw a back in when I got to this one, but All right. so usually I go forehand off the tee. So you want something to penetrate or, or early fade? Generally, I'm just trying to get something I can hit up there that doesn't turn over, and I'm okay with it kind of hyzering out because it can just hit a tree or something up there. I mainly just want to get close to the basket and have a putt. Okay, I'm gonna give you a Atomic Kia. All right, so Atomic Kia, Josh is gonna go on his forehand. I mainly just try to not hit a tree. <laughs> All right. We'll see how it goes. Pretty stable. Ah, uh, long putt. <laughs> I yanked it a little bit. All right, so Josh has the Takapu, and it's the newest disc from RPM. So he's gonna be putting with that. Yep, I'm gonna hold the premium plastic in my hand because I like holding two players. I do too. Say we're probably like 35. Yeah, probably. Oh, Yankee. Uh oh. Eh, I wanted to make it. All right. So also, before I stop this clip, make sure you go subscribe to this man if you're not already. I don't know if I said it in the intro. If uh, not, maybe. It, but just keep saying it. He, just keep saying it because uh, he's doing a video that's going to feature me on his channel. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if Josh can uh, save this part. Yes, sir. Not nice. caca. <laughs> All right, this one here is 270, and I've picked the Huya for Josh. Uh, he said he's been throwing like a, a 
overstable fairway or overstable driver on this one, depending. And he's, uh, we played another round. He's been throwing pretty good today. He's threw that here a couple times today. And I'm gonna let him throw this one. So it's kind of like a Eagle or a Explorer from Latitude. Not quite as stable as uh, the Eagle. I, think. I usually try to go early left of the green because there's a road that plays up and it gives you an easier putt. Okay. So that's what my aim is. Should have, have a putt, putt, right? Yeah. Should have a putt. I don't know how close it got, but. Good shot. Let's see. I forgot to practice putt before we started this <laughs> round again. <laughs> Dang it. Premium. Ooh, he went premium. I would not have recommended that, but what do I know? So I generally throw, I've been going between a proxy, I've thrown a Tui a couple of times, I've thrown Envy, pretty much I'm just aiming to throw my straightest shot that's just gonna have a straight glide. Straight, okay. Yeah, so anything, like I've had a Tui work before, although I would rather throw a flatter disc. Okay, let's try a Magma Soft Tui. See okay. how this feels. That should be fine. Now it's going to be more understable than the discs you mentioned. So do I need so to put some hyzer for hyzer. sure. Is yeah. it going to be like proxy, like a beat-in proxy? Beat-in proxy, very beat-in proxy. So, so it's very. Put it on hyzer and let it. Because yeah. that's the what that's the shot shape I've been playing. Yes, exactly. Do probably a little more hyzer than what you would have done with the proxy. Or a little less power. Yeah. Either <laughs> either or. Yeah. Oh, oh. Like sometimes that, that go it, left though. of that tree and it's good, but that should be scramble bull bull bull. <laughs> scramble bull bull bull. <laughs> scramble eggs. <laughs> okay, forehand you can flex. Yeah, something. It's not like crazy over stable, but still has fight to it. I mean, I think a Kia could work. So probably that Magma Soft But key. maybe the Magma Soft. Key. Okay, I'll grab that. That okay. sounds perfect. All right, so this one plays down to the left. He said he wants something that would be, that he could turn over, but it would still fight back at the end, so. Well, this has got enough stability I can throw it on any, and it'll. But it'll soft. Ride. Don't throw it really hard because it's, it's kind of like really, a smooth. Yeah. Uh, my main goal is just to try to get down to the bottom of the hill. I'm not really trying to get a birdie anymore, so. Okay. Well, I threw the shape, but I didn't hit the gap. <laughs> <laughs> that was the shape I wanted, but I yanked it. I was trying not to hit that tree. That's kind of a, a, an important part of this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it was dead. Listen, that was not dead, so he got a stroke right there. Course designer. Course designer gets to do that. Well, Whenever take, it's course maintenance. Go take that little vine out right there then. <laughs> Those are hard to get out. Okay, so what I was thinking, if you're comfortable with it, would be that two E again, but on a forehand. I figured you were gonna say that. It would either, I would either be, I would either be flicking something like this, like a Berg or a yarn normally, or if I was feeling cute, <laughs> I would try a backhand right through okay, there. I'll if see you it. see that gap, you Let's see Let's see it? what that looks like. Oh, I didn't even see that. I would potentially be trying to just, hit something on a hyzer there and maybe miss. I think that's the safer route. Let's try Let's try Tui. Do you think you could get it down there? I mean, I can. It's, it's just if I get the angle right. Yeah. The same one I did before. Yeah, yeah, that magma. Which is that? Yeah, that one, yeah. This one? Don't get it dirty. Oh, it flexed so <laughs> wow. much. It flexed so wow. much and I threw it, it went meh. <laughs> See it, is, it is soft. It, it's a little soft. So like a forehand, cause it'll hold the angle like the whole time. And it's pretty flippy, right? Yeah. You don't want to angle it too much. 
I could probably throw it flat and it'll. I would put a little angle. I wouldn't say completely flat because you're not gonna be trying to throw it hard. You're just trying to pitch it around and let it let the disc do the work. A tree I'm not seeing. Oh, just a little bit flatter actually. Yeah. And I would have got that like gradual flip up. I'm a horrible cat. But that was nice. Huh? I'm a horrible caddy. No, You're like, I don't I mean, want to throw it, it flat. Fine. I'm like, no, throw it on Einheiser. <laughs> no, but that is like, I mean, that was really close to being the right shot anyways. Because yeah. it didn't take much. But that is like a, probably like maybe 40 foot putt, so there's still a chance. Nice. I mean, there's a hyzer on this side, but. So I'm good this, with whatever putt you desire here, because this is, uh, Tricky. Me choosing is not going to really affect the outcome, I don't I feel like. I think my aim is that tree that's just not the furthest right, but the one right there. I'm going to try to go just to the right of it on a putt with a takapoo. Takapoo. Or just go to the right of the one I said I wasn't going to go to the right of. <laughs> All right, so he's got another putt with the Takapoo here. He went a little bit long, as you can see. So let's see if he can can this and save a five. Wow. Good putt. That's uh, my location. Go subscribe to Josh oh. <laughs> <laughs> to see uh, my how I played this hole. Well, I normally here lately I've been throwing. I was at first throwing a proxy backhand up through here. Okay. Then I started stepping up to an envy because it was flipping up too much like a base envy. Okay. So as long as I can throw something like maybe with a slight bit of hyzer or flat that's just going to go straight. I thought maybe a Takapu or something like that. Okay, I was thinking Ruru, that, that Ruru that I have uh -huh. that's a little more stable. But the Takapu would fade a little more than the Ruru. It depends on our, if you're wanting push. One. Do you want push or fade? I just What's want, more important? I don't want much fade. I want it okay. to be just, I just don't want like a lot of turn. I just want okay. like straight like push because it's, this gets steep at some point. So okay. I'm mainly wanting to hit something that will just go straight through this middle gap and just kind of fall down to the left a let's, little bit. Let's try that uh, Atomic Ruru that I got the flat top one. The what? Atomic Ruru. Oh, God, it sounded like you said the Atomic Ruru. Atomic <laughs> Ruru. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Right, that's, the, that's the next one coming out. Uh, let me grab it here <sighs> while you stare at Mr. Josh Nell. This one here. Oh, I thought you were telling me to stare <laughs> until you said that Josh Nell. <laughs> So this Ruru is a little more stable. I still want you to throw it on a little bit of hyzer though. Not like uh -oh. that, but it's gonna get lucky. Ooh. <laughs> You almost aced it, didn't you? <laughs> it was very, it was very close to hitting the bottom of the pin. I think <laughs> that's not the gap, by the way. Hey, okay, I'll remember that. Here we are. All right, Josh landed very close with the ruru, putting with a takapu. Yes, sir. Good bird with two birds. Show off those birds. I don't. Wrong ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh here has been throwing, he said he's actually tried to peck a peck on this hole, but he said the peck a peck has been flipping a little bit too much. I've got one of the old run Kiwis here, and uh, you can tell the difference in the stamp, but I won't go through that because I don't, I want them all. <laughs> um, he's got to catch them all. He's got to. <laughs> He's going to throw away down some hyzer and see if he can get it to push forward and then hold the angle. I 
That's not where I wanted to throw. Mm. Scrambleable. Yes. You ready? Yeah, yeah, go for it. He's got the two here. He's just gonna toss it up here under the pan. Oh. Oh, it got away from it me a little. It kind of faded. Uh -oh. Yeah, I was expecting it to hold it more. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> All right, Josh left a little bit of meat on the bone. How do you feel about this putt, sir? Meaty. Meaty. <laughs> Someone just got shot, so. A dog, apparently. Oh. I'm gonna say don't stroke me. No. <laughs> Can he make this putt? How are you feeling about this putt, young man? Great. Yes, sir. If I don't make a par on this one, then a uh, five's fine. A five's fine. Because <laughs> I don't deserve anything else. <laughs> there you go. I thought about like maybe a takapoo. Okay. Or something if that is. Listen, I've been going listen, in. Him. I thought I was the caddy here. I was just giving you input. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he said he's been going envy on this one, so yeah, I would definitely go talk a poo. But well, probably with a little bit of hyzer. Premium. I would go premium with a, a little bit more hyzer. Or do you feel more comfortable with the grip of the base? Oh, I'm fine the, with either one. The base them. is going to push straighter if you're wanting. I mean, I'm fine with the flights I was getting out of them before. I'm fine with either one of them because okay. my main goal is to hit the gap Okay. and just get far enough up. So I'm just going to try a random one. Okay. So he's going the glow takapu here. Yes, sir. Exactly where I get my envies. Nice. So we, I got Josh throwing a, a Kia here. He said he would normally throw something like a yarn here, and uh, Kia's gonna be the closest to it's that. It's so uphill, like it doesn't matter how far I throw it, really. Yeah. Get off of it. Oh. God, it's so much more stable than I give it credit for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close to here that I could probably throw a forehand and be fine. There's not much sense in me bringing this little vine into play. Yeah, I, I would say just flick the Takapu. Takapu? I would think. Okay. You think it's got enough stability? I can make it work. What would you what well, what would you th flick? It'd probably be soft flick yarn or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, but do this is in again. between, so I can try it. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. Cause I can. I mean, I should be able to control a putter. Probably a little bit hyzer though. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That'll work. All right, he went a little bit long, but not too bad. He should have this putt. Yes, sir. Which one do I need to go? Do you want me to go high forehand? Uh, yeah, or? yeah. I want you to go high forehand. He's got so this is 185 feet. We stepped up. I looked at the hole and I said, "Kia." Yep. He, he knew that's what was happening <laughs> anyway. So. <laughs> he was ready to go. Uh, key on the forehand, go, he's going to go the high route, which is the inside route. Could be outside too if I want. <laughs> True. Uh oh. It's on the green, probably like 25, 30 feet. Okay. Okay, Josh landed uh, probably what, just outside the circle? I'm gonna call this probably like 25. Oh, okay. I'm he landed uphill. probably about 25. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it because I feel like I'm pretty close to the basket, but it's still a putt. I'm gonna call it 10 feet just in case you miss, okay. so I'll feel better about myself. Josh landed 10 feet from the basket. <laughs> I 
I missed it. Oh, Feel better about I can't yourself. believe he missed that 10 footer. Why'd you do that? <laughs> this is what we call the walk of shame. I've done that about 12 times on this course already. Good recovery. Yeah, that's a 10 footer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's uh, 182 feet and uh, 52 is, feet of elevation. Yeah, 52 feet of elevation, as you can see. So he's going to be going peka peka. He said he's actually been throwing this peka peka on this hole, so no sense in changing that. Dead center. So that's the problem with this one. I see. You can throw it too good. I'm just gonna have to have a talk with the course designer. Hey, Josh, take that tree out. I'm joking, I like it. Yeah, I usually play to actually hit the left side gap and play my misses to the right. Okay. And that time I just hit it in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so dancing Josh here is <laughs> gonna be going once again with the Kia. He used to throw A3 a lot, so this is a very comparable disc to the A3. So. Remember, it's stable. Yeah. Hit this gap. Hit this gap. Ah! Oh. That's, that's the miss, though. Yeah, I was close. I still didn't turn it enough. So he's got a... You doing an anti-putt here? Yeah. He's doing an anti-putt with the Takapoo, which is... I wouldn't say an overstable putter, but a little more stable than you would think for an anti-putt, wouldn't you say? Well, I mean, Caddy, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to let him do it, though. We're going to let him do it. If he makes it, I give him a dollar. Oh. Ah. No dollar for you. It went any. It just came out of my hand early. Oh. Okay, so this is gonna be the last hole of the video. Our uh, mic batteries are running out. So we're just gonna do a little nine hole caddy. Little challenge. niner. Little niner, so he's got the Takapoo. He's gonna be throwing on a fan grip here on the last hole. He's gonna try and push right over the top of that log and just fade straight down, down towards the basket. Yep, this is a blind shot, a lot like uh, most of the holes here. <laughs> Sounded clean. It is clean. I don't know. It's probably just a tad short. Okay. But I probably have a putt. All right. All right. Josh has got his putt for his two with a Takapoo. Oh, no. That. Why don't you try that again? <laughs> I guess I will. <laughs> I thought I made it. <laughs> You're so nice of you to not make me walk again. Oh, good correction. So... <laughs> <laughs> Soccer with Josh. So I went three, you went four. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you just go ahead and say that on the outro of my you video. You went four! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was it. Um, so this was the RPM uh, discovering RPM series. Uh, if you are interested in doing this here on my channel, uh, please send me an email or a message on Facebook and uh, we'll see about getting you on the channel and uh, discovering RPM discs. Josh, thanks for being the first one. What did you finish through nine? I think I was at plus two. Plus two. Okay. I mean, it's not very far off from what I usually expect. I would okay. want to be under par coming here, but a lot of times I'm even or Sometimes even plus, because you can make strokes up, but you really want to score on this side. Mm -hmm. but, but it's still not bad. You can still make up strokes on this side. So. It's about close to normal, so not too bad. Not too bad for discs that he's just kind of learning. 
as always, I just wanna say, this is not like trying to get you to bag RPM, it's just trying to get you to test out some new plastic. You never know what kind of diamond in the rough you're gonna find in a brand that you don't know much about. So this is just kind of a series trying to uh, help out RPM a little bit and uh, get some more people on the channel. So um, make sure you go subscribe to Josh. He has been doing a video this whole time with me uh, of me playing around on his channel. So this is gonna be kind of different, him on my channel and me on his channel. So yeah. We'll see. So uh, his will 100% probably be up before mine because I'm a slow editor and this man's I edit like on in like point. 20 minutes. <laughs> so uh, when his goes up, you can see mine in like two weeks. So <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching as always. Please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area.